Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com So SEBI grade A notification is out So today we are going to discuss the SEBI's grade A notification We are going to discuss the syllabus And we are going to discuss the cost that we are offering So first of all SEBI uh, is a regulator of financial market, security markets as the RBI is a regulator of banking companies, banking companies and NBFCs, SEBI is a regulator of security markets. So SEBI was established in 1992 under the SEBI's Act 1992. So the headquarters of SEBI is situated at uh, Mumbai and the regional office are, offices are located at New Delhi, Kol uh, Kolkata, Chennai and Ahmedabad. So the best thing about SEBI is uh, the job posting would be in the metro cities only, right? You won't be, uh, you know, posted at a, a village or something. There will be no rural postings. So the notification already is released. The dates of applications are 15th of September to 30th of September. And if... Uh, your age is less than 30 as on 31st of August 2018 then you are eligible right so there are total 120 posts 84 for the general 18 for the legal 8 for the IT officer 5 for the engineering civil and the 5 for that electrical engineering so eligibility criteria is really simple for the general category bachelors in any discipline uh, or bachelor in law, bachelor in engineering, chartered accountancy, company secretary, CFA or CWA. In other words, if you are a graduate in arts, if you have done BSc, BCom, then you are not eligible. For the legal, bachelor's degree, degree in law and for the IT officer, graduation in engineering, uh, master's in computer application, MCA, graduation in any discipline with the post Qual graduate qualification in IT for the engineering and electrical it's obvious the bachelor degrees in the civil engineering and electrical engineering so this is the eligibility criteria so let's discuss the exam pattern so there will be three phases as in the RBA grade B there will be three phases in this exam phase 1 phase 2 and phase 3 uh, still the notification is not out but as per our previous experiences as, as per the previous uh, exams I am going to discuss the syllabus uh, maybe there will be some variations in the notification if there is any variation I will let you know please click the subscribe button to get the re regular updates for the phase one there is again uh, there is normal uh, pattern quantitative aptitude to general awareness reasoning ability English language and awareness of security market awareness of security market is little different total 200 marks in two hours so quantitative aptitude will be same, same data interpretation, uh, algebra, time at work, time at distance, pipes and systems, the same that I am teaching right now in my quantitative aptitude course. And in the general awareness, same static GK, but there will be a lot of emphasis on the security market, there will be a lot of emphasis on the banking awareness. Again in the reasoning ability, there will be puzzles, logs, inequalities, uh, you are going to find uh, uh, direction sense test problem based on ages critical reasoning and in the English language there will be reading comprehensions there will be uh, close test there will be questions based on vocabulary there will be uh, sentence correction para jumbles will be there so this is the phase one the pattern of the phase one we have already started we are going to start with quantitative aptitude from Monday you can join our complete course, the complete classes that we are going to start. Uh, let me tell you about our results in RBI grade B. Total 167 students till now that we have uh, registered. They have already, uh, you know, they cracked the phase one. Now they are going to appear for the phase two. And 131 of our students, they were able to crack the NABAR grade A phase one. And we are still waiting for the results. And I hope at least 25 of our students are going to crack the RBA grade B and the same number of the students are going to crack the NABAD grade A. So I am expecting the similar level of success in this R, in this SEBI grade A uh, recruitments. So in the phase 2, the, what we are expecting there will be financial management. Uh, there will be focus on the primary and the secondary market, mutual fund industries, derivatives, swaps, options, future forward contract, how they work, how the legal 
bindings of these contracts the time value of money the bond valuation the cost of capital capital structure cash flow statement financial statement analysis how to study the financial statements basics of accounting yes that is also important and then for the esi the second paper is the esi uh, what i am expecting 100 marks each for the uh, each of these paper in the phase 2 there will be three papers financial management esi and the third one will be the descriptive paper so in the esi there will be again uh, questions about government schemes the policies of the government related to the rural banking related to financial inclusion what the government is actually doing for them and then there will be questions from the economic survey there will be questions from union budget uh, then the important part here the different part here there will be questions from circulars of SEBI and RBI the questions from master circulars of SEBI's and RBI whatever the important circulars are there for example uh, mark my words recently there is a recategorization circular by SEBI recategorization of mutual fund circular by SEBI you are going to find at least two questions both in phase one and phase two I mean mark my word that is the most important question so this actually changed the whole mutual fund industry so that is actually really important and that's part of the ESI paper and then for the descriptive paper there will be essay writing and letter writing and this is English descriptive paper not a paper of general awareness what most of the students they do they, they don't just understand the format the criteria uh, to, to check this uh, essays I mean they just consider this paper as a general awareness paper it's not you need to understand how to write an essay how to write a letter so i'm going to do some live sessions on youtube in which i'm going to discuss uh, how to attempt uh, an essay how to write an essay how to do the for the descriptive paper and further i'm going to share some of my lectures so uh, if you want to join our course in which we are going to you know start with the phase one i have all uh, from monday onwards i'm going to start with quantitative aptitude right so along with the quantitative aptitude i'm going to teach the financial management and we are quite sure that financial management would be uh, a paper in the phase two so i'm going to start the course from monday every day there will be two classes followed by proper notes and there will be the quizzes at the end of every chapter so exam dates as per the notification the expected dates i mean there are no tentative dates for the exams but according to me the expected dates are mid of november in the mid of november there will be exam mid of november or the first week of november the exam is going to help so you are just having around two months to prepare for this exam so we are going to start uh, the proper course from this monday and i recommend all of you to take a demo you can install the bank exams today's mobile application or you can directly go to bankexamstoday.com where you can check our demo classes where you can download our demo notes so if you want to join the classes you can directly email me raman at the rate of bankexamstoday.com and in case uh, you have any other doubt you can personally call me my number is 906720100 so that's all for today students thank you and have a very nice day bye